the balance of each account and the try balance. We posted all the transactions of a complete accounting cycle in two accounts. In our example, we had 19 transactions in the journal of the whole accounting cycle, and they were posted with double entries into 15 accounts from bank, capital, etc. up to van. Here are the 19 transactions in the journal. Of course, the first one is Joe putting initial cash into his business. Then we took cash to the bank. The firm bought on credit a delivery van. We rented premises, etc. And we think of it as a complete accounting cycle for the sake of learning. Of course, a real complete cycle has thousands of entries. And here are the 15 accounts into which they were posted. We list them in alphabetical order. The bank, the capital, the cash, uh, Deirdre's account, James, up to the van account. These 15 accounts, they form the ledger of the firm, as you know. And we shall look at them one by one. So we look at the first one. We look at them in alphabetical order. The bank account. The bank account received 17,000 euros and gave 14,500 euros. We receive things recorded in debit. So we received, first of all, 8,000 when, when we took cash to bank, 2,000 when we took Sally's cash to bank, 2,000 when we got a long-term loan, and 5,000 when we took the cash from sales to bank. All this adds up to 17,000. And uh, we gave, we wrote checks for, if you add this up, to 14,000. And 500. So we say that it has a balance in debit, balance in debit of 2,500. Accountants, they have a way to compute the balance. They add up each column, column debit and column credit, and then they first of all enter in a figure in the shorter column and they call it the balance carried down. And then they enter the same figure on the other side, just like I did here on the other side, and they call it the balance brought down. So for the first balance, the, the balance carried down is uh, written here. Why do they do that? Well, you have to remember that accounting was invented at a time when algebra with plus and minus signs was not yet invented. So there are many ways to compute a difference. In fact, we want to compute the difference between this and that. And it is written, first of all, here. And this first uh, balance is called the balance carried down. And then we write again the same number on the other side which happens to be for the difference between all these minus all that. And that one is called the balance brought down. The balance brought down is the one we are concerned with, this one. When we talk about the balance of an account, we mean this one, the balance brought down. That one I, sh I shall forget from now on. Let's continue with a look at the accounts. The next account is the capital account. It records the shares, remember, given to the owner or owners in exchange for the initial capital. So this here uh, records that Joe put uh, initial capital in the form of cash into his business and that was 10,000 euros that arrived in the cash account. It was a debit in the cash account and here in the capital account, it's a credit of 10,000 euros. It records once again, shares given to Joe. The capital account usually receives few entries. And here, the balance is simply enough, the first figure, here's the balance. So the balance brought down may be on the debit side or on the credit side. It all depends which column has the most uh, value. And here, there is only one column with value, therefore that's the, that's the one. Next, the cash account. The cash account is, with the bank account, one of the two accounts which have a lot of entries, 
a lot of entries, unlike the capital account. Here, the cash account received the sum of all these numbers, 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, that's 16,000 euros, and gave out 15,000 euros. So its balance, and now I forget about the, the balance carried down, its balance is 1,000 euros in debit. And by the way, a cash account can never be in credit because this is physical money, banknotes and coins, and it cannot be a negative figure. Then, Deirdre's account. Deirdre is one of, is our supplier of goods. It's one of our suppliers. We could have called her supplier's account, although there are some other suppliers. So we call it Deirdre's account. We purchased from her altogether on credit 7,000 euros and we paid partially after the first purchase 1,500 euros. So the account altogether has a balance in credit of 5,500 euros. That's what we still owe to Deirdre at the end of the accounting period. Then James' account. James is the firm from which we, brought, we bought machinery. And we had, first of all, a credit of 5,000 euros to James, but we settled it the next day. We purchased the machine, machinery on the 27th and we paid James by check on the 28th. So the account has a balance of zero, whichever side you like. Let's go directly to the long-term loan. We contracted a loan for 2,000 euros and we haven't begun to pay it back. So the long-term loan account has a balance in credit of 2,000 euros. That's a record of the money we received from, from the bank in the form of a long-term loan and it's a liability, it's a credit to that bank. It may be the same as our bank managing our checking account, it may be another one. The machinery account. This records an asset, a machine, which arrived in our firm. So it's a debit of 5,000 euros, that's because that's the value of this machine. And uh, it happens that we bought it from James on credit. And later on, we paid James. Be sure to understand but it is not here that we record the money owed to James at first and what we actually paid him later on. All that takes place in James' account. This is just the account recording that the machine entered our assets. We shall not look at all the accounts one by one, but you are encouraged to do so with the help of the mini accounting software which is in the same folder as this uh, uh, page, and you can find it here, http colon double slash www.lapasserelle, in one word, dot com slash online underscore courses slash accounting slash trial balance slash with an underscore slash mini underscore accounting dot xls. Finally, we list all the accounts and their balances. All the accounts that we just saw. And here are their balances, some of them in debit. We saw the bank account was in debit. The capital was in credit 10,000. The cash in debit 1,000. Deirdre is in credit. We owe Deirdre 5,500, etc. This is called the trial balance of the end of the accounting period. And these two numbers we just sum up the debit column and the credit column must be equal because every entry uh, recording we posting we did was with two figures with the same amount. So we have progress in the complete accounting process of one cycle. We saw the journal, we posted uh, entries, uh, transactions in two accounts this from the ledger and now we reach we reach the trial balance there remains to study adjustments to produce the income statement and the balance sheet